the skyblock on man out. We brought together seven billionaires. I'm a billionaire. 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 One of them is a liar. If the group discovers who the liar is, they win the game. If the liar survives, they win. This is Skyblock Odd Man Out. If you enjoyed this type of video, please consider subscribing because it shows me that you like it. And obviously this was inspired by Jubilee, so go check them out and let's go into it. Before we proceed with the video, I want to take a moment to thank our sponsor, Oprah GX. Before you skip, I want to say that I legitimately believe that Oprah GX is a great web browser. And if you watch some of my older videos, you can actually see me using it. Recently, a new feature was added to the browser known as GX Profiles. GX Profiles allows you to create custom profiles for the different ways you use your browser. Personally, I mainly use three profiles, one for watching videos and normal browsing, one for streaming, and one for school. Each profile has specific settings that make it perfect for each task. In addition, there is also a potato profile, which you can use if you don't have the best PC. If you want to make a GX profile of your own, it's quite simple. First, you click the gears icon that brings you to settings, then you'll see manage GX profiles, which you click, and then you can create your own profile. Then to create a new profile, you just click this button, put in your name of whatever, then pick your color, and then choose your configuration. So we're going to choose potato and then add the profile. And then you'll see down here that a new profile was added under this purple color. Some other features I use on the daily are the integrated social medias, the Google Chrome extensions, and the hot tabs killer. The integrated social medias are so nice and they make it incredibly easy to browse without switching tabs. I personally tend to use the Twitch and Twitter integrations the most to the point that I use them more than the actual websites. Even if you don't use either of those, Opera GX has a ton more that you can choose from, such as WhatsApp, Instagram, Discord, and many more. If losing your Chrome extensions puts you off changing browser, then don't worry, because all the Chrome extensions are actually compatible with Opera GX, and as a person who uses a decent bit of them, it's a godsend. Finally, the Hot Tabs Killer is so good, especially if you don't have the greatest PC. As a guy who usually forgets to close the tabs, it makes it really easy to determine which tabs are taking the most resources and allows you to easily close them. If any of these features sounded interesting to you, click the link in the description to get started with installing Opera GX for yourself. And th with that, let's head back into the video. Okay. Is a question or are we just talking to each other? We're basically just talking to each other from what yeah. I've seen. Just ask each other questions. And yeah. Oh, yeah. My first question for you is, um, who is... Not a billionaire. That's a good what? question. A good I don't question. know if we can ask oh, you that. That's a really good question. What's your favorite item that you own? Ooh. Uh, probably my Terminator. Yeah. I would say, I would say my Hyperion just because it's like one of the first ones. But to be honest, it's the first crafted fish hat. Or like, it's, it's, it's in the like first few. Like I started playing right when the game released. And so of course since that i've had this fish hat for like ever it's probably my favorite item did you fish a lot when the game came out not a lot i just i just crafted a fish hat what's your favorite way to make money my favorite money making method well i don't entirely want to say what my Why favorite money making that? method is but recently i've been doing a lot of ghosts just because i hit combat 60 i think it was yesterday yeah i hit combat 60 like yesterday Wait, so, so should i ask a question trees? money trees my question for you is what's your favorite money making method uh i like doing dungeons what M7. floor do you mainly M7, do m7 i see okay yeah, yeah. Go down the line. Okay. 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 Trophy, next. trophy how do you make uh i like a shipping what kind of items? Tell us one item. Superior crafting. Is that a profitable actually, clip? Isn't it like... Yeah. It actually less I mean, last last time, I'm I pretty sure it's not profitable. I might have inflated the price of superior buy orders. I'm not oh saying anything. God. Just using the um, mash class Suspicious. method trademark. Oh, nice. <laughs> so yeah. it is definitely would... not profit to craft those. I definitely don't. Just saying. Don't yeah, can we move on to geeking? How do you make yeah. money? Okay, how do you make okay, money? Okay, so uh, I make money. It's kind of a combination. So I uh, like quit Skyblock for a few months, but then I came back and... I really started grinding. Uh, now I do Kudra. I make like 20 mil a day off that and I do F7. And then uh, mostly it's AH flipping, giant swords. Have you dropped any handles? I 
have not, which has really, that's an, one of the reasons I, I like quit for a while. It's because I didn't drop any handles and I was at like above 350 runs. I know that's still a lot, but I lost motivation. I see. How about Anton? You're new here. Yeah, Anton. Like Anton. mostly dungeons. I started off F7. That's how we became really became a billionaire. Yeah. Like I started doing like leveling up pets, selling it. Ah, uh, yeah, oh, pet that's, levels. That's not Those bad. are yeah. normally profit. Yeah. 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 Okay. How about you, Nash? Oh, we've already done you, haven't we? You're a what now, player? M4. Second M4. Master shows a super pro uh, super. Oh yeah, yeah, I guess right. you're right. floor is like the most profitable. The the I will no never touch. Floor to do. I will never touch floor four ever again. So I could see how that could be profitable. And Obsidia, Obsidia X, what's your money making method? Um, it's been changed a lot. The one that I took most off of is probably like gemstone mining. Ah, but I see. Recently, I've been looking into other things. I have a bunch of Inferno minions set up. Actually, right before this, I dropped my first Inferno Vertex, so... My mining okay, setup so right question. now is not the greatest. I have a Divin's chest plate with four out of five gemstone slots, and then the rest is Sorrow. I think mining setup yeah. doesn't really tell you anything. I personally would say otherwise, because, like, I'd say not necessarily mining setup, but my question for you guys, how much mithril and gemstone powder do you have because i for me personally i have full maxed devon i have like a dr x655 with like all maxed and then the main part is i have two point what is it 2.3 million mithril powder and 2.2 million gemstone powder and that's of course with the sky mall setup so like my question is what is your like heart of the mountain slash powder setups look like i'll start off with money trees then yeah, i guess we'll just... i have 40k uh gemstone powder because <laughs> i hate mining and on my iron man i'm heart of the mountain seven and on my main i'm heart of the mountain five i'm, I'm like heart of the mountain five Ooh. i have 700k mithril and i have 150k gemstone i haven't really gotten into mining uh well wow. Uh, so my mining setup's uh, nothing. I really hate mining. And I'm not kidding either when I say this. I have an Iron Man with like full Necron and Jujubo. Anton. I got Heart of the Mountain 7. I only have one profile. And my Mithril and my- my Mithril's almost 3. So my gemstone powder is like 2.5. Nashes, what does your mining setup look like? I hate mining. I have like Renowned Sorrow or Same. Magic Find. That would be what I use. And then okay. like a random gauntlet. Obsidia X, what's your mining setup? I'm Heart of the Mountain 6. I already said my armor for it. I believe, yeah, I remember my powder amounts are like 800k for Mithril and I think around 900k for Gemstone. I never really powder grind it. Just do like commissions every now and then and mainly just mine for profit. Hold on, I have another round of questions that I'm probably going to forget in 5 seconds. What would you say is the most useful item in dungeons that you have that's not a weapon? Ooh. Yeah, you can. Okay. For me, it's probably the the uh, the stonk. Okay, it's over. So after counting all the votes, the person who is being voted out is Gicking. No. Rest in peace. So uh, I was a little too honest by saying I had the Iron Man after Money Trees did it, and then saying. I did Kudra and giant sword flipping. Guess they just all thought I did too much. Yeah, it makes sense. If you could go and back and change something, would you change anything? I would probably lie about like not having the Iron Man or just being more like Heart of the Mountain Tier 6 or something like that. Sure. Thank you for inviting me. Okay, so Shofi, another question I'd have for you is what's your kind of like, have you done much in the Nether update? Usually I just do my Matriarch. But I haven't really done anything except for magma fishing. Who was the person that said they make most of their money from Kudra? Oh, that was Gicking. Oh, well, <laughs> I mean, my inbuilt suspicion was correct. I just forgot. Kudra I guess. actually used to be a lot of money. Yeah, Kudra yeah, used to be super Jeff profitable. I used to, like, do a lot of Kudra. Okay, so as for Obsidian X, what's your, um, like, nether progression like? Um, I do right now mainly uh, trophy fishing. Ah, I see. I'm silver getting very close to gold. I just haven't had too much time lately. What What are the fishes that you are missing? Like, off the top of your head. If you can't remember them, that's fine. Just, like... Uh, Moldfin, Karate, uh, the soulfish one that's... Yeah, that uh, that checks out, yeah. Shofi, what is, what is the rarest to drop you've ever gotten? Warheart, yes. Probably. Hmm. That's spicy. That's a spicy drop right there. Well, right. I, I did 
5.2 mil rev XP before getting one. That's a slightly less spicy oh, drop now that you think yeah, about it like that. Insidian, what's your rarest drop? Um, mine's actually the same thing, also a worm. Hmm, I got it at around 1.1 mil XP. Got it as I was ending a stream, and I was super excited about it. My question for both of you is gonna be, in my opinion, what's your kind of like, what's your setup? All around, like, what's your like day to day you run around with this gear on? Like, include your armor, weapon, and your, um,. And your um, bracelet, gauntlet, or like whatever it is. So I have like a uh, storm armor with a wither goggle and a Hyperion. Yeah. And then for my gear, I can't remember. I haven't really gone into yet. They have like a magma necklace or something. I have the the implosion belt from my Hyperion. That's pretty much it. You tell me you got contagion. Uh, got no. Contagion? Does no it contagion. even work with implosion? Yes. It's really good. It's very it's good. Cracked, oh, my guy. I'll get it. Okay, as for you, Obsidian. You Do you have I a really Soul like Eater like 4 Juju, Juju bow, though? Uh, I, don't, I, don't have a, I don't have a Soul Eater 4 Juju, I have a Soul Eater 3 Juju, actually. <gasps> Guys, I think what? we have them. Anyways, let's keep going. Day to day, the main thing I wear is a 3 4 Snackron with a Warden Helm. Personally, I like doing Slayers more, so that goes for more like Berserker build. How many Warden Hearts have you dropped? Dropped it at 1.1, I have it at 1.3. The last oh, time yeah. I tried to grind Spens, I was going for Overflux, and I got seven Couture runes in a row, so was not the happiest about that. But Oh, that's where uh, I remember your like name from, because I definitely bought <laughs> those runes, because I... <laughs> I was... You bought those runes off me? That's awesome. Yeah, I definitely did. Okay, well, yeah. mainly for the last bit, I've been grinding ghosts, and I've actually grinded pretty hard in the nether update. So I personally use a Terra Harm Helm, of course, but it's maxed. And then I have a two-starred Ancient Burning Crimson chestplate, you know, with all the, like, works. That has life wait, regen wait, on it. What does the works mean to you? So it's like basically maxed. Like, of course, I don't have Prot 7 and Grow 7, but but other than that, like, it's fully maxed. It has Counter Strike on it. So maxed, but not Counter Strike? Hyper. What? Why would you put <laughs> that on it? <laughs> because it was a thing that I could do, and so I did it. OP on gold armor. Yes, so so powerful. I, I personally haven't noticed it working much against the ghosts. I'm pretty sure that's because it doesn't work against the ghosts, but I don't want to hear any criticism about it. Then he. Anyways, then I have four star ancient burning crimson leggings and I have a five star pair of ancient necron boots. I use soul whip, like, and I've been using it with, I don't remember every enchant on it. It's like, it's not a one for all soul whip. It's like a, um, it's not swarm. I think it's inferno or something like that. It's one of the new ones. Who, uh, <laughs> what's up with uh, dungeon levels? Oh, mine's kata 37 because of a, um, unfortunate skill wipe. I have a kind of story to, uh, to go off of. So basically what happened was before the start of 2021, I was like, you know, I had played since the beginning of the game, but I just wasn't like the, f the fanciest person. I didn't have like all the best gear. And then I was trying to look around for ways to get money uh, around February 2021, and some kid in this Dungeons Guy dungeon server, they banned me now, said, oh yeah, just nuke Netherward. It's undetectable. Ever uh -huh. since that point, I got a 30 day ban, all of my skills wiped, and since that point, I have grinded to this point where I am now. I made one million you, coins. You okay, okay, it's over. Everybody, get ready to vote. After counting all the votes, the person who's being voted out is Obsidia X. Yeah, that's what I expected. That no, <laughs> oh, we'll miss you. Do you. I don't believe it was you. Okay, so why do you think you got voted out? I really think is. <laughs> because probably my gear wasn't good enough. I spend a lot of my time just grinding whatever I feel like. I don't specifically dedicate it to a certain thing. Like, I don't have a Hyperion. I haven't even gotten a giant sword yet. And I think just because of my gear and me not getting too many RNG drops, that probably looked pretty suspicious to most people. Right. If you could go back and change one thing in that round, what do you think you would have changed? Um, I definitely wish I remembered the question I wanted to ask, but uh -huh. otherwise, I don't really think I would have changed anything. I came in here very close to 
the line and I knew it was going to be a challenge for some people and I wanted it to be this way. Okay, we have one I'm minute. Slightly sus of Shofi and leave Q. So what do you guys have to say for yourself? Shofi, you go first. I was like, how do you forget that you're like, Ryan I feel like uh, Sorrel grinding is kind of mid game. Like, yeah, well, Sorrel, for about I haven't. No, yes. Sorrel grinding is mid game. Oh, I bought an Inferno, but I forget how much it was. Like, I think. Yeah. It, like, no, I didn't. I didn't say I forgot how. Okay, wait. Can I speak? So, no. I did not forget how much I paid for it until I try and think about how much I paid for it. I swear I remember. It was like 480 mil or something. It was like a massive hit to my purse. But, at the same time, I was Soro grinding because of multiple reasons. First of all, yes, combat 60. Second of all, I'm trying to max the bestiary, and so ghosts were one of the things that I didn't really get into grinding often, so like, as like you could have tell by my um, setup that I described, I only started getting- Okay, okay, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. <laughs> well, that was the whole round. So, the person who was voted out was Leaf Q. Oh my god. No. So I don't think it was you, but... I tried to trust you. Get out of my way. I think I got voted out mainly because I started going into stories from myself, and that was kind of a problem, I guess. I kind of started talking about it, like, my personal experiences, and the second I started doing that, people got immediately suspicious. I frankly, I don't see why, because, like, I mean, yeah, I did some stupid stuff, but I'm not, like... I'm not your shadow assassin nun. I have burning crimson armor. That take that took basically like every day to grind to get, and I still don't know why they would have voted me out after I said that. You know. All right. So if you could oh, yeah. change one thing about the last round, what do you think you would change? I personally might have changed just how I phrased the question because I sounded I probably sounded like I was getting really defensive. I should have gone back to him and being like. I should have gone back to the per other person we were suspicious of and said, why did you deflect this question onto me? Three, two, one, zero. Okay, okay, who, do you, who, who, do you, who do you think Who do you think actually was the... I, like, I the think person? we kind of forgot that Shofi was in the group of the first three people that were all getting tied for voted out. What is your favorite item that you own? Aperion. What, what kind of enchant? I know it's. On it? What's what's the best enchant on it? Uh, probably Smite Seven. I mean, I can't. I I don't have vicious. I don't yeah, have. Yeah. Checks out. Checks out. Vicious. Vicious. vicious I, I yeah, it doesn't work. It's a waste of yeah. money. I brought a vicious up. I, I'm not trying to like lie about my net worth being like super high because it, it's not. But it, it I it's over a bill. Okay. Okay. That's it. So that's that's the end of that round. So the player who has been voted off is Shofi. Oh, GG guys. So I don't know, probably because like, I feel like those guys are acting way too rich. Like, I was just trying to be honest, but they all sussed me out. If I place a green block, then it means that you voted out the mole. And if I place a red block, it means that the mole is still in and you guys have lost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go! Oh. Let's go! Now, the billionaire Will you reveal yourself? Yo, actually, yo, I actually yo. just knew it. I have a 30 mil purse, actually. Big but flex. my thing is, most of that story was true. The thing about how I played in, until the original. But then the second I got wiped, instead of trying to g go well, I just started, you know, it didn't necessarily, like, motivate me to keep playing. I just kept playing anyways, but I've never really found success. Like, I've never done the trendy money-making method, and I've always been, like behind in everything coins wise i still can't believe how gullible some of you are i knew it was leave q as soon as he said that he forgot that he bought in he forgot the price of inferno book i'll be honest leave q i i knew he was i knew kind of he was a millionaire he was fumbling up his words i caught him he tried to defend himself but it just didn't work okay, so i knew it was him from the start i i knew it wasn't shock it was like too quiet nash is also too quiet i feel like the person that is the mole, they try to take the most charge and lead to, to get everyone else like sussed out. And I voted, I was gonna vote for him, but then I got eliminated because I was just too honest. If you guys enjoyed this style of video, make sure to subscribe so I know that you guys liked it. And if you ever want to be in one of these on man outs, make sure to follow me on Twitter because that's where I'm going to post all the applications. And that's basically it. Well, see ya in the next one. Bye.